Hi, my name is Zishan, and uh, in this video, we will see how to create a data source to the database in WebLogic server. So, first, you have to go to the WebLogic server address, your server name, colon port by default is 7001 slash and console. And after that, uh, you will go enter a username of the administrator, default is WebLogic and the password you define this password when you create a domain in weblogic server next you will go to the under the jdbc section you can see the data source and you can go from here as well under the jdbc to the data source and to create a new data source we will create press new button and here you will define the name of the data source I'm going to say mydbds and uh, here we have to provide the jndi name and usually it's the format like this jdbc slash mydbds let's take like this the same data source we will use in our I will use in the next tutorial we press next database whatever you want I'm going for Oracle obviously and this transaction option you have to press next here you have to give the name of the SID of the service I have this name host name you can define the IP address if you like or the name and we are going for the HR schema you, you define the username and password and we can test our configuration and test is successful and we can go to the press next and which server we have to deploy this uh, if you have many serv managed servers then all listed here you have to tick where you want to deploy this uh, uh, JDBC data source I am running all in one admin server so I have only one option here and press finish there you go so we can see our JDBC data source uh, I think here my DBDS so this ends this tutorial and uh, I will use the same da uh, data source in my next tutorial.